Hi, I am Chris. Today you will learn about the tool and base configuration. We will also discuss how you can set a new base and how you can define a new tool data. Are you ready? I actually already imported the layout here, the ready to educate cell. You can do that by clicking to tutorials section 30 tool base configuration then to the section 30 layout and double click on the model and it will generate here in the origin of the simulation. Now you can click on the gripper and center it in the view and then click on the robot because this is actually the place where we're going to have the tool and base configuration. When you click now on program tab and on the bottom right to the jog window you can already see the tool and base options where you can choose from. We are going to start from the tool so if the first tool data one is pre-selected and by going on this gear and clicking on it there is the tool properties opening up you can now change the properties you can select another tool data by clicking here in the drop down list but actually we will stick with tool number one you can change the name to anything that you prefer but we actually don't recommend it as can be buggy you can actually change the name in the description to gripper one and now we want actually to set the tool center point which is actually now at the flange of the robot and we want to set it here between the two gripper jaws now you can just drag and drop this little frame by clicking on the pink donut or circle but you can also snap it and use this two point midpoint function and select the alignment axis plus Y. This depends on your gripper and in the direction of your TCP that you want to set. And now I will first select the bottom gripper jaw and then the upper gripper jaw. And you will perfectly align or put the tool center point in the middle of the two gripper jaws. This is exactly what we want to have. And in addition to that, you have this approach axis in plus x that you can see in the object coordinate system. Now you can change the mass or to maybe 12 kilograms and the center of gravity and your inertia depending on what you have out of your CAD data. Now that you have done this you can go back to the jog mode and you will see that now in the jog mode the tool data one is actually displayed and it's not on the flange as before but it's here on the top or in the, at the TCP that we just set. And from here on, you can now jog it around in the object view or in the approach axis. And if you want to in the world the coordinate system, you just click on word and then thereby change the position of the robot. What we want to do next is to set a base and for that we have to select the base number one in the drop down menu and go back to the gear to actually change the base properties. You can add a description or a name. So for example I want to set the space on the table so just type in table and you can use again the snap function and go to the one point method and set the alignment axis plus Z and now go to the table of the uh, ready to educate cell and snap the point that you really like. For example, this one. Now you snap the position, but still the orientation is not perfectly aligned, not parallel to the table. So what you can do now is actually use again the snap function and deselect the set position and just set the set orientation option to minus x and then select the side of the table so it will perfectly align now the call coordinate system of the base or the frame is perfectly aligned to the table now, there's one more thing to do actually if you want to use your base and move around the object that it's connected to here for example the table you can select a node here in this case the node is in the world so actually it's now fixed to the world if you would turn your robot the base would still be fixed to the world but what we actually want to do is we can either select here from the drop down menu an object 
we can select it to the root of the robot or make it easier as we want to attach it to our table is to click on this icon here with this yellow cube and then actually select the table there is this red cube outside of the table and once i click on that it will actually select it table with shape bds table and now if i move the table in my world this space will be always attached to this corner on this table and now you can use it in the jog mode and if you now go back to the snap view with your base one and tool one and position the robot from the home position you snap it on the table so what you actually do is you have to select the set position option and change from the plus set to the plus x mode and now to come here and sec select this point and and now actually the gripper is in collision with the table so i'm going to go for a few centimeters above and touch a new point with the tool one and base zero if i want also to have a base a base one selected i just select it in the drop down menu and again use the snap function to click it on the table in the middle of the table teach a new point pnp position and now you can see you have the tool data one and base data one selected for this specific point so if you go to the parent view this is actually exactly the distance between the base one and to this point and which is a difference to the world coordinate system thank you for watching this video if you would like to see more interesting videos about KUKA simulation world, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Industrial Intelligence